Welcome to the Reality Revolution. Today, I'm finally going to do the Ho'oponopono meditation. I've thought about doing it for a very long time. It's something that I absolutely love that has saved me on more levels than you could imagine. But I didn't know if I should do a short one, a medium or long one, so I decided I most likely would do all of them. What is Ho'oponopono? If it's pr probable that if you're listening to me that you already know but if you don't I'm really excited because it's going to transform your life you're going to end up going back to it for some reason oftentimes it's a structure for how I can communicate with somebody that I'm in discord with so I'm just going to briefly give a little introduction and then in future meditations you can skip to the beginning of the meditation itself it's a very easy meditation to do Ho'oponopono is a Hawaiian practice of reconciliation and forgiveness. The Hawaiian word translates into English simply as correction, with synonyms manage or supervise and the antonym careless. Similar forgiveness practices are performed on islands throughout the South Pacific, including Hawaii, Samoa, Tahiti, and New Zealand. It's practiced by indigenous Hawaiian healers, often within the extended family by a family member. There is also a new age form of this practice so the etymology goes all the way back but it's advanced and becomes so much more as people have adopted it and started to use it on the surface level many people have understood ho'oponopono to be this mantra where one repeats the words i'm sorry please forgive me thank you i love you as a form of mental and spiritual cleaning that could be compared to Buddhist techniques for clearing karma. It has been defined as a, a forgiveness and reconciliation practice, cleansing of errors of thought, the origin of problems and sickness in the physical world. According to the Hawaiian worldview, the literal translation is to put to right, to put in order or shape, to correct, revise, adjust, amend, regulate, arrange, rectify, make orderly or neat. A lot of times we make our problems so much more complicated than they really are. I can look back on many instances of my life when I, for instance, I wanted to sell a house that I had or do some big thing and it always I had some guilt that deep down or I didn't love myself or I was battling with these issues and if I just went back to this mantra, it seemed to cleanse everything and after I did it, I would see a big change in the world around me. So it's more than just a simple mantra. I believe on some level that if you apply it towards something with your attention, then, then you can resolve that situation. So if you have a, an issue with your mother or father, you can think about them when you give this mantra. If you want it, you can directly communicate with God. You can do it with a family member. You can do it with a situation. And most importantly, you can do it with yourself. You oftentimes can address certain topics during it. So I've created a shorter one and a longer one. What happens is eventually it just kind of blends into the background and becomes a part of your subconscious. Now what I believe happens is that we have deep-seated issues going back to our childhood that we have not forgiven ourselves for. And we have issues that go back to other lives that we have not forgiven ourselves for. We are on a wheel of karma and we can walk away from this wheel of karma through this simple practice. And the more that you do it, the better you'll feel and the more that you'll see change in your life. I have found by simply chanting these words that my inner discordance, my stuff would come up. Stuff comes up. Not only would it come up, but it was as if my inner disharmony was being turned to the frequency of these words and the intention they carry. And over time, I found these four simple concepts acted like tuning forks, each carrying a different tone of purity that I could use to tune the disharmonious parts of myself. And best of all, I found that applying this chant to the chaos of my mind brought about stillness and calm. And throughout human history, we've been divided by distance, language, cultural and religious beliefs, and economic hierarchy. Whenever someone comes up with a perspective, there seems to always be someone else 
there with an opposing opinion. To me, the power of Ho'oponopono comes in large part from the fact that it's really a rare thing that the vast majority of humanity be in agreement about anything. I have talked to people in different cultures. I have a friend who mostly speaks Spanish and they had used this concept. It translates to every language. Across all cultures, practically all of us agree that the concepts of thank you, I'm sorry, please forgive me and I love you are all valuable and important. Obviously, you can find this meditation everywhere on YouTube. Everybody has versions of it. So I wanted to give my own spin to it with some really awesome music. Something that you can play in the background while you're cleaning the house at the same time that you can sleep with. The shorter one, the longer one, it's all there for you, however you need to use it. And by doing this Ho'oponopono, you may be tapping into a level of awareness that expends far beyond just what you're doing when you're meditating. It seems to bring up this unity, this God unity. I can't explain it. It's just this way of healing and it really can affect more than our internal world. Don't think that you're just fixing some insignificant psychological issue. You become aware of this discordance in your personal and collective memories and even maybe in past lives if you believe in that. And this is a way of developing your personal power because a lot of times what is blocking your personal power is that you have not forgiven yourself, that you don't love yourself. Oftentimes, when you read, for instance, I did an episode in, on reality transurfing recently. And the pendulums that they talk about in reality transurfing, they use the concepts of guilt and self confidence and ego to undermine your energy and pull your energy away. So, if you want to know how to escape from a pendulum, do this do the Ho'opono practice. If you're having somebody that you're having a hard time with, if you're in the middle of a divorce or a struggle with somebody in your family, address this to them in your heart. It doesn't have to be specific. I've had people that did it, timelines, that did it to their childhood, that addressed it to things and they've seen changes in that particular thing. But the repetition of it is truly power. And I only say, get into a relaxed state and let it hum like a mantra and test it out. There have been testimonials of psychiatrists and mental institutions that played this in the speakers over and over and over, and eventually they had to shut down the mental institution because everybody had been cured. There are so many stories of people that have transformed their lives with this simple mantra. And you can do this now to change your life, and I hope it does, and it's my gift to you. It changed me and I hope that it does the same for you. And I just want you to know that whoever is listening, no matter what you say to yourself, I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me and thank you. The order of the words doesn't matter. There's no way that you can do it wrong. If you get caught up in the middle, you can start wherever you want. Don't let your monkey mind try to tell you there's a certain way that you need to do it. You just relax into it. So we're about between 9 and 10 minutes, and I'll make sure to put the start time right about now. And so begin to sit back and relax. 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 Take a deep breath and mentally relax your body as you start this process. Calm your mind. Feel the muscles in your feet and legs, in your stomach and chest and back and shoulders and arms, all relaxing. Focus on relaxing as you begin to let go of the outside world and just relax. Take a deep breath. And tune in to that deep 
inner part of you, the pure part of you that has always been there beyond anything else. If there's something that you want to address, bring it up now. If you want to just feel the energy of this, then, then you can do that as well. Or you can simply let go. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please. Forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. sorry, sorry. 
please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. Sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. 
Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Sorry, please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. Love you. Love you. I'm sorry. sorry. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. I love you. I'm sorry. Sorry. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I 
love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Sorry. Please forgive me.
forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Sorry, please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. I love you. Love you. I'm sorry. So sorry. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. I love you. I'm sorry. So sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you.
I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Welcome to the Reality Revolution.